Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to localize or translate your Figma designs uh, with XLIF files using the CopyDoc plugin. Uh, so the first thing we need to do if you haven't already done so is just jump into the Figma community and search for the word CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C and you'll see the CopyDoc plugin pop up and if you have already installed it you can just click on the install button on the right hand side here and once it says installed uh, you're ready to go and we can jump back into our Figma file. Uh, so today I'm just using a really simple banners template uh, in Figma and I basically want to translate this into a different language. So the way I'm going to do that is just by firing up the plugin by right clicking anywhere, going down to plugins and clicking on CopyDoc text kit. And this is going to open up the plugin that we just installed a minute ago. Uh, so I'm going to be ignoring these first options. Uh, I've got other videos that cover those features. Um, today we're just going to be looking at a brand new feature called Localize Figma Text. And this is going to allow us to export and import XLIF translation files um, to and from Figma. Um, so I'm just going to click on the Export Import XLIF button over here. And it's going to give me an option to select the source language. So this is the language that's already inside of our Figma file. Um, I'm just going to select English and I'm going to do the Australian variant. And for the target language, um, you can select the language that you want to translate the design to. Um, so in my case, I'm just going to select, uh, let's go with Dutch. So I'm going to do Dutch um, NL version. And so basically I'm going to translate the English Australia version currently to a new version in a moment for the Dutch uh, language. So I'm going to keep the design references. Um, this little checkbox uh, just flags if you want to export images of all the frames just as a reference for your translator um, to see actually what they're translating um, alongside the file. And the second option we have is just choosing what XLIF format you want. Uh, so XLIF is a standardized file format for specifically translating um, strings or translating uh, words from a design or a uh, application uh, to a different language. So there's different variants of it. Um, 2.0 is more modern but not as supported in a lot of different translation tools. Um, so at the moment I'm just going to stick with XLIF 1.2. And once you've selected that you can go ahead and click on export XLIF. And that's just going to export every single text layer uh, in our file to an XLIF file. So I'm going to click on download XLIF text export, save that to my desktop and I've just got a little zip file now that it's exported. Um, so I'm going to double click on the zip file and I'm going to open that up just so we can see what's inside. And you can see here we've got two different uh, files or two, one directory and one file. Uh, the first file is just the XLIF file, so that's the translation file with all of our text in it. And then we also have this frames folder uh, which contains PNG images of all of our frames from the design as a reference for the translator. Okay, so um, there's different software you can use to translate XLIF files, um, but the simplest way would just be to open it up in a text editor or a code editor. So I'm going to open it up in uh, Visual Studio Code just to show you what it looks like and um, edit the translations in here. Uh, so this is how we're going to localize our Figma text to a different language using uh, the XLIF file in this case. Um, so you can see here, just to go through what's happening, um, each of these little file sections represent a different frame in your Figma design. Um, so you can see here, each of them has an has a ID. Um, so we've got 1.2 or 1 to 6, uh, 110, and these correlate directly with these frame IDs here. So they're in order of uh, the frames. So you can basically match those up if you needed to see, for example, 114. You can go into your frames reference, go to 114, and that's visually representing uh, all of the content inside of that frame. Um, so inside of each frame or file, as it's called in an XLIF file, uh, you've got a translation unit for every bit of text. Um, so for example, in this particular use case, uh, we only have two bits of text per banner. Um, so we can see here we've got Lotus Yoga Pants and Shop Now, and we've got the same text here. And in each translation unit, there's two tags. There's a source tag and a target tag. So the source tag has already been populated by the text from Figma. That's automatically been populated. Um, so what you need to do in your translation uh, from Figma is copy this text or get your translator to translate that text into this target field. Uh, and again, you can do this using different software, but for today, I'm just gonna use uh, Visual Studio Code along with Google Translate. Uh, for a very, I'm sure, unreliable translation. And I'm just going to translate that from English to Dutch, 
I'm going to jump back into my code and I'm just going to really quickly select all of those and pop that into the target field. And then I'm also just going to translate the second bit of text we've got here. So that's shop now. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to highlight all of my shop nows and just pop that into the translation target and hit save. So I've just saved that. I've translated all of the uh, frames, all of the text inside of each frame to Dutch. And now I'm going to actually re-import that back into Figma. So we can do that really quickly by jumping back into our Figma file and closing off this little pop-up, clicking on uh, the localized Figma text option again, and just clicking on the export import XLIF button. And this time, instead of exporting the translation, we're going to import a translation. Um, so underneath the text heading import translated text from XLIF to Figma, uh, I'm just going to click on uh, my folder, jump down to the file I just saved, and I'm going to drag and drop that from Finder or my desktop uh, into this little box here, the drag and drop box. So that's just loaded the file into Figma and Figma's read the file. It's picked up on what translations are in there. So you can see here it's defaulted to the translated language of Dutch, um, but we've also got access to our Australian uh, English source version there too. So if I want to translate this um, instantly, all I need to do is just uh, confirm that you know all of the text layers are in there, so it's picked up on 22 different text layers, and now I've got this button that I can click. So I'm just going to click on the Update uh, Figma Text Layers Translation button. So I'm going to click on that and that has gone ahead and imported all of the text. So you can see here in our design, uh, all of those text layers have been updated with the translation. And uh, it looks like it's translated all the layers. Um, you can see here, obviously, the text uh, length wasn't quite right in this one, so I've just had to adjust that. Um, but the rest are looking good. And if you've got the text set to auto height um, or auto, auto width or both um, or either, um, that should translate a lot better. Um, if you've got fixed width or fixed height text blocks, um, you're probably going to run into some issues uh, with sizing because different languages will be different lengths. Uh, but in this case, it's not looking too bad. Uh, so we've just gone ahead and translated this entire design with one click. And uh, the other thing I can do is just translate that straight back into English. So I can click on the drop down again, and instead of loading in the Dutch text, I can load in the English text. And then I can click on the update Figma text layers to English translation button and click on that. And you can see here, it's just updated those 22 text layers back into English. Um, so it's, it's really quick. It's very, um, very efficient. You can do this with as many files as you want. You could save out uh, multiple translation files or localization files from Figma. So I could export another one, uh, another brand new one to Danish, for example. I can click on that and just re-export it from Figma and that will re-export all the text. I can trans I can jump um, save that into my desktop and then I would go ahead and translate that into Danish and then I could again re-import that into the, the, fi the file here uh, using this little drag and drop area. Um, so that's the, the basic um, tutorial of how you can actually go ahead and uh, localize your text layers in Figma really easily uh, using the plugin. Uh, using this standardized XLIF uh, localization format or translation format. Um, and there's just a few caveats. Um, as with any text layers in Figma, if you're using text layers that do have a font that isn't installed on the user's machine, um, those text layers won't be able to be updated using the plugin. So, uh, for example, if this Shop Now button or any of these text layers were in a font that wasn't installed, um, just like when you've got that uh, font missing uh, normally when you go to edit the text layer you'll, you'll get that little um, exclamation mark with a warning saying that the, the font needs to be installed or substituted and you won't be able to edit it. Um, Figma plugins also can't edit that font magically either. Um, the font does need to be installed so if you are importing text and you're wondering why some of the layers aren't updating uh, there's a very good chance that the, the text layer has a font that isn't installed on that machine um, so you can either send it to somebody who has the font installed and get them to run the plugin, or you can get the font and install it and then rerun the plugin. And that will also um, uh, finish the translation for you. But yeah, that's just a really, um, uh, a really small gotcha that you might come across if you're using the plugin. Um, and as I said, this is a standardized translation format. 
Uh, you don't have to use something like a VS code or a code editor or a text editor. In fact, this is probably the, um, might be one of the slowest methods um, that you could do, but this is the method uh, that I was just using just to show you actually what's inside of the file and um, just breaking down how it actually all works. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a, a rough uh, tutorial of how you can go ahead and uh, translate text in Figma or localize your text in Figma uh, in one click essentially once you've got the, the text translated. Um, and yeah, if you want to localize your website, localize your uh, application or just localize um, you know, a banner set or something really simple like this and you have a team of translators or um, you just want to translate it yourself like I was using Google Translate. Uh, and then reimporting that into Figma. This is uh, this is probably the most efficient way that you can go about it. You don't need a uh, any sort of web application. You don't need to integrate it with any other software. It's it's really as simple as importing and exporting XLIF files. So uh, for those of you who prefer a simpler approach rather than kind of syncing up things and having API keys to deal with, um, this is an alternative method that might fit your workflow a bit better for localizing Figma text or translating Figma text, I should say. Um, yeah, so I hope you uh, have some success with it. If you've been looking to translate your designs uh, or work with translation software and have that play nicely with Figma, um, then give this a go. Give the copy.plugin plugin a go and I hope you and your team have some success with it. Okay, so that's all from me today and I'll be back very soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one. Uh, so stay tuned for those. Thanks again for watching.